So let's look at doing long division with a polynomial now. So first step is dividing your first term. So I'm going to put a coefficient of 1. I think that's helpful. But you are dividing the first term, so of what you're dividing by and into. So 1x cubed divided by 1x. So do the numbers. 1 divided by 1 is 1. And then x cubed divided by x to the first. When we divide, you subtract those exponents. So x cubed divided by x is x squared. So that's step one, dividing. Now you take that term that you got after you divide, and you multiply it out to that outside term. We're going to write it right underneath. So 1x times 1x squared gives you 1x cubed. 1x squared times negative 2 negative 2 x squared, and then we're going to subtract that entire expression. So the first term should cancel, so we're going to leave nothing there, and then 5 minus negative 2. So be careful with the minusing. Minus negative becomes plus, so this will become 7 x squared. So we divided, multiplied out, we just subtracted, so now we're going to bring down the next term. So as soon as you bring down that next term, you start at the top again. So now we're starting back over with dividing the first term. So 7x squared divided by 1x. So 7 divided by 1, 7x squared divided by x, x. Multiply it out, 7 times x, 7x squared, 7 times negative 2, negative 14x. Subtract the whole thing. So 7 minus 7 should cancel. Negative 7 minus negative 14 becomes plus. So 7 plus 14, 7x. So we just subtracted. Bring down that next term. And then you start over again with dividing. So 7x divided by 1x, just 7. And it should go in order. Guys, so if you're confident that this is your x squared term, then the next term should be your x, and then the last term should be a constant. So it does or should just go in order for you there. Okay, so we divided them, got 7. So multiply it out, 7 times 1x minus 2. So 7 times 1, 7x, 7 times negative 2, negative 14, subtract x is canceled, 2 minus negative becomes plus, remainder is 16. So, you have whatever you've got on the top here, and then to write your remainder, you just say, okay, plus whatever was left over what you're dividing by. If you really wanted to check, um, if you multiply what you divided by with what your final answer was, if you multiply them back together, you should get what was on the inside. Um, but I know we're not super great with fractions, but if you wanted to check, that is how you would check them. All right, let's look at number two. Actually, let's do trickier one. Let's look at number four. So you guys have to make sure you have all of your terms. So like on the inside here for number four, it does go four, three, two, one. So that is fine. But on the outside, it goes right from your squared term to your constant. So you're actually missing an x term in there. So I'm going to just kind of squeeze that in there. So what would happen if you guys, um, actually let's write it above. If you guys didn't put your 0x in there, what would end up happening is that when you go to start subtracting things, you'd subtract terms that aren't like, you'd be trying to subtract like x squared with x cubes, x's with x squareds. So it is important to make sure 
that you guys have each term, that you're not missing any places in there. All right, I'd throw a coefficient of one, but then you're just dividing. So, first terms. So two divided by one is two. X to the fourth divided by X squared, just subtract, so X squared. So multiply that out, so we just have three terms instead of two now. So two times one, two X to the fourth. Two times zero, zero, X cubed. Two times two, four X squared. Then we're gonna subtract the whole thing. X to the fourth, that first term should always cancel. Negative one minus zero, negative one X cubed. Four minus four, that does just give you a zero X squared. Bring down the next term. Okay. Once you bring down your term, you're ready to start over again with dividing. So negative one divided by one is negative one. X cubed divided by X squared, just X. Distribute it out. Negative one times one, negative one X cubed. Negative one times zero, zero. X squared, negative one times two, negative two. X, subtract everything. All right, X squared cancels, actually zeros cancel too, so we'll have one minus negative two, so that becomes positive, three X. Bring down the next term. So now, this is a weird one because your X squared is canceled, but three X can't be divisible or isn't divisible by an X squared term. So because you can't divide it, the exponent is larger than what you've got left. This is your remainder. So this will be plus three X plus seven over X squared plus two. So divide, multiply, subtract, bring down.